Hello there, welcome back. It's been quite a while since I've done a flashlight or torch review and to be honest I wasn't really that bothered about doing any more because I've got a really good range of lights. I don't see the need to add to that range or should I say I didn't see the need to add to that range until through night got in touch. I've reviewed a hell of a lot of stuff over the years and I've always been impressed with the through night lights. Good quality, the, the, the clarity of the light is always good and the construction of them is always excellent. They're waterproof, they come with spare seals and all that sort of thing. They're just really good quality lights and I've kept all the ones that I've reviewed because they tend to be quite different to each other. And up until very, very recently, I didn't see the need to add to that range. Now my favourite light is, was, this one. This is the Catapult V6. I think it's 2800 lumens if I remember rightly. And it's a thrower. So it casts quite a tight beam a hell of a long way. Now the reason I like a nice tight beam is for spotting purposes. If there's something going on in the backfield, say there's a bit of a ruckus and I hear the ducks or geese or something in the backfield in the middle of the night creating a, a right old panic, I like to be able to shine an intense beam hundreds of yards to see what's going on. That did the job really, really well. In fact, it still does the job really, really well. But it's not exactly a pocket light unless you've got quite a big pocket or unless you want everybody to think that you're pleased to see them. So I was actually quite excited when Through Night proposed that I take a look at this light. This is the mini version of the catapult. I mean obviously this one doesn't produce a beam that'll go as far as its big brother but look at the size difference. This genuinely is a pocket light. Now I will put the technical details of this in the video description, in the pinned comment and at the end of the videos for anybody who's interested in everything to do with this light. But on high it produces 680 lumens, sorry not on high, on the turbo setting which is basically accessed with a double click. That puts it into its most intense setting, 680 lumens. I don't know whether you can see there, it's got a very special sort of a lens to it to focus that beam a hell of a long way. And through night say that intense beam will be visible up to just short of 600 meters, which is about right. And like its bigger brother, the little lad has a range of other settings as well from Firefly, which is a really low setting, which will last for days and days and days all the way up to the turbo mode. Now because it's a smaller light, it also takes a much smaller battery. That is the one out of the Catapult Mini, and that's the one out of the Catapult V6. So the little lad is an 18350, and the big lad is a 26650. I mean, that's, that's almost the size of the Catapult light. <laughs> You'll be amazed at how far this can throw a beam as well. Apart from the fact that the Catapult Mini is much smaller, it also has a different charging method as well. That is the standard Catapult, which is a Mini USB. And for the Mini Catapult, it's a Type-C connection. So that's a, to me, that's a better connection. It also charges a level a lot faster as well. So on one side, You've got the charging input, on the other side you've got the button which accesses all of the various settings on the light. Now the light will remember what setting you left it on, so I always have it set on low, not on the lowest, which is the Firefly, but on low just for navigation, and then a double click will put it into the turbo. So that's the low, which is 21 lumens, and then if we hold it and press it, it'll cycle through the various settings. So it goes low, medium, high. Low is 21 lumens, medium 96 lumens, high 235 lumens, which even 235 is pretty bright. And as I mentioned, I have it so you switch it on, on low for navigation. You don't draw attention to yourself, yet you can still see where you're going. 
double click puts it into turbo and a warning for anybody with epilepsy but if you quick press it three times it goes into strobe and that's also 680 lumens as well that's an exceptionally bright light I mean if you're using it in any sort of like tactical situation that would surely blind your opponent show you what it can do in the dark on the brightest setting because really that's all anybody's interested in but I'll show you the situation in the light followed by in the dark and that's something that I don't normally do normally I just show you in the dark and it's pretty meaningless because sometimes you don't get an impression of distance so we may as well start with where I am now the back end of the pond is about 35 yards or roughly 35 meters away that's what it's like during the day and this is what it's like on a night this is the low power this is what I normally have it on just for navigation double click that's pretty fantastic clear as a bell Behind me, we've got a house here. That's approximately 275 yards or 275 meters away. See, it's quite a distance. So that's it during the day. This is it during the night. Hopefully you can see it there. See the white van in front of it. This next one's going to be a little bit difficult to see but we've got a river in the valley bottom here and then we've got a village and then just under the top of the hill here we've got a road sign that's probably the best part of a kilometer away you cannot see it on this and I won't zoom in because you want a good impression of distance but that's a hell of a long way away hopefully you'll be able to see that on a night when I highlight that sign. I can see it with my eyes. Hopefully it'll come out on the screen. I'll put an indicator on where it should be and hopefully you'll pick it up. That's a hell of a long way off. This is gonna be a hell of a one to see, but this is the sign approximately a kilometer away. Hopefully you'll be able to see it roughly in the center of the shot. I think it's about right. Yeah. Pretty amazing. Getting good reflection off that. Just do a comparison of the most commonly used settings here. So we'll put it on, just hold the button in, cycle through. And then with a double press, very bright indeed. And there we've got a pigeon approximately 35 yards away, right up in the tree. If I zoom out, you should be able to see how tight this beam is. So there you go, my new favorite light. It packs an unbelievable amount of power into such a small container. And it is genuinely pocket sized as well. Big thanks to Through Night for sending me this. It's something that I would probably never have even stumbled across because as I say, I thought I had enough lights in my arsenal. So I'll put the link to this and its bigger brother in the video description. And I'll also put the link to the review video I did of the full size Catapult V6 in the video description and pinned comment as well. Because, you know, if you wanted a bigger light that would cast even further, then that one's worthy of consideration as well both excellent lights. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.